All right, back at you guys here at Be Strong. We're gonna walk you through the decline dumbbell bench press. So very similar to our bench press, we're gonna have our chest high, our spines flexed. The only difference is when we're coming down through the range of motion, we're not gonna be as high on the pecs because our back is declined down, our head's lower in the hole. Our dumbbell placement or barbell, whenever we're doing that, is gonna be a little bit lower on the chest. This movement really loads the scapula. So it's probably the best exercise to increase your flat bench strength because it does activate and put that uh, retraction of your scapula in the proper position through the lift. So I'm gonna show you a couple here. But I still got a flex spine, chest is high, and I really got my scapula up, up underneath me here through the range of motion. You know, head again on the bench or up, not a real big factor here. I like to have it up just a little bit of the decline. So same thing like a bench, just straight down, but I'm not as high anymore. I'm down low, got my chest really high, really keeping that scapula tight and retract on the bench. It really isolates the pecs a little bit more as well as more than a flat bench. And then dismount. So unlike a flat bench where we have a lot of back as our foundation, here we're putting it into our scapula and we're using a lot of the pecs throughout this range of motion. It really targets the pec strength in our bench press. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you like the content, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment below.